guys welcome back I'm so glad that you guys came over today to see this filler haul it's gonna be short but I really wanted to share it with you because it's an Aldi haul and I've been finding some awesome deals at Aldi's lately so if you have an Aldi's near you let me tell you there are some really really good deals on this particular day I was actually um, on my way to a women's group that I run and I need some refreshments and I was trying to think of some different kind of refreshments and I always want to have some food because it's around the dinner hour and so I always want to have food even though they tell me they don't need it but that's okay refreshments are refreshments so I went in to grab a few refreshments and I ended up grabbing a few other things that I actually needed so isn't that always the way Anyway, I thought it'd be fun to show you guys what I got. So some of this stuff is actually open because it's like nine o'clock at night and I just got back, but I wanted to show you really quick. So here we go. All right, this is my little Aldi's haul. It was about $30 and we'll just go through and I'll show you. Um, I got two different things of cookies. I got some oatmeal, iced oatmeal cookies and some chocolate chip cookies. And of course they're both backwards, of course, right? story of my life but um, they these were like a dollar 25 I want to say these were like less than a dollar and these were for the refreshments for my women's group and I just put them on a plate and those worked out really good and easy um, I actually got some frozen fruit I've been making smoothies and I really really enjoy them and it's a way to get a lot of greens in too so I've been putting spinach in my smoothies and you cannot even taste it you don't even know it's in there so oh, that's the way to go, right? I really like um, a lot of this stuff at Aldi's because right here it's no sugar added, ideal for smoothies. Um, and that's kind of what they're, they're known for, more of a, um, more of organic and different things like that. So I needed, so I got two. So I got two of the strawberry, one of the blueberry. I didn't get fresh ones because we're going out of town and I wanted to make sure that nothing went bad in case I didn't use it. Normally I would just buy fresh. So you guys, these are my new favorite chips. Yes, both of them. Mostly I actually like these ones better, but these were the first ones I went with. They're sweet potato chips. Um, I love them because there are no artificial flavors, no synthetic colors, no preservatives gluten-free and non-GMO. Like, could you get any better than that? Like, ugh, for a processed, you know, type of a thing? No, of course not, right? And I started out, I really, really like these. These are actually only, I wanna say like $1.39. These ones have become my new favorite. And guys, I don't like those veggie straws or anything like that. And these chips, so good. They don't even taste like veggies, you can't even tell. And it's the same thing, there are no um, artificial flavors, no th synthetics, no preservatives, no gluten, low sodium, non-GMO, um, but it has all these different, so the sweet potato is the same in both. It has taro, uh, whatever this is, batata, and parsnips. I think the parsnips are the ones that I don't care that much for, but the other ones, especially whatever these red ones are, oh my gosh, they're so good. These are about $2.39, I want to say. Consider trying them, though, because they are really good. So on to this side, I actually got a package of crackers, and this whole box was $0.79, cents, which I thought was amazing. And then I got two things of hummus. I got one uh, for my women's group, and I just put the crackers around it because I just didn't want to sit there and cut up bread and that was just something easy I could think of on the spot. I got kind of more of a Ritz buttery cracker because I was, um, they were for other people. If I was buying it for myself, I probably would have bought more of like a wheat thin or a Triscuit or something like that. But nonetheless, we'll definitely use them in my house. This hummus is so good. This is just the classic one. Oh and it's just literally like classic hummus but it's gluten-free and y'all it's so good and the ingredients are really really clean and it's so good every time i bring this people love it i hauled this hummus which is the olive tamponade in my last grocery haul and i'll link that here if you guys haven't seen that 
This was so good. I probably ate it in like a few days or something. It was so good. It reminded me very much of like Middle Eastern hummus and you definitely have to like olives, but it was so good. Oh my gosh, I really like this. If you like olives, you will love this. I was not sure for my women's group, so that's why I went with the classic. But I figured you can't go bad with hummus and a lot of times people want healthier snacks so that's why I try to go more on the healthy side even though I did have cookies other things that I bought I bought a thing of Parmesan cheese because I needed um, one of these I got a new recipe for fettuccine alfredo totally forgot to buy the Parmesan cheese that goes with it and um, we were out of milk sometimes I go through half a gallon in a week and sometimes I don't go through it so I kind of wait and just buy it. You guys know I always buy organic milk because it stays fresher longer. And so I just grabbed it while I was there because we just happened to have been going through it. And I grabbed a thing of halos. If you guys haven't seen my last video that I just put up where it was my evening cleaning and my refrigerator tour, um, you'll see that in the last couple videos, that one and there's another one that I'll link as well, um, I basically have been, it sounds weird, peeling the halos, putting them in like a little glass uh, bowl, and my uh, husband and my son love them. It's been cutting down a lot on chips and different things, and it, I feel like it really doesn't take that long. Honestly, maybe five, 10 minutes, I can peel half a bag. No big deal. And they grab it and eat it. And these, I think, were on sale for $2.69, which I thought was really good. I probably would have got another one, except we, I told you we're going out of town, so I want, did not want a bunch of fruit hanging around because I just don't want that food waste. And so this was about a $30 just kind of filler haul. And definitely when you bring refreshments somewhere, think about the fact that if you had to bring it home, what would you bring home and still eat? And so obviously, you know, these are my favorite chips. I love hummus, and obviously my guys are gonna love the cookies regardless. So just a little tip to think about because a majority of the time you are bringing something home. So that is it for me tonight. I really just wanted to share this little filler haul with just those few little tips. If you are not already subscribed, I would love for you to be a part of my family, so just hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications. And I will see you guys in my next brand new video. Bye for now.